Hi, there's some exciting news about Sage Service Operations. In September of 2022, significant enhancements have been made to the Sage Service Operations module. In a cloud-native Sage Service Operations platform, you now have the ability to do functions that you previously had to do in the Sage Service Management module. So what do we mean by that? Well, you can now invoice directly out of Sage Service Operations to your customers and don't have a need to go back to the service management to complete the work order processing cycle. So what do we mean by that? Well, first off, the ability to design customer invoices directly in Sage Service Operations Instead of having to do this with a crystal report design, you now have a very easy to use templating system that allows you to lay out your invoice and details within Sage Service Operations. Let's take a look at one of the changes that now occur in Sage Service Operations that you want to invoice a work order that's been complete. So let's look at this invoice right here, 23348. You notice if I go over to the SM back office menu, these are all functions previously only available to me in the SM module. I'm going to bring up work orders. You can see different work orders we have here, and you can filter off by different types of statuses. So here's ones that have been completed, not invoiced, and we can sort different directions. So we want to bring up this Napoli's work order. 23348. So right off the top, we can see details about the work order that we're going to fill out this work order. When I click on register, you're going to see all of the information that's going to flow from the field to the invoice. If we had any inventory that was pulled, we would see that here. If I click invoices, I can see we haven't created an invoice yet for this. If there was any purchase orders, likewise. So let's go ahead and create an invoice. With one click, all the information from the register flows over to the invoice with the appropriate unit prices to bill the customer. If you need to make any edits on any of these line items, you can highlight the item and then come down here into the details of the line item you're on and make adjustments. So let's say we're, we're, we're good with that, that we're going to go ahead and invoice the customer, and we're going to go ahead and close out the work order. So we're going to create invoice, close out the work order. And by doing so, it's going to queue up the invoice. We're going to go ahead and email that to the customer directly from here. I didn't have a customer uh, email previously pre-filled, so I'm just going to type in my own. I'm going to just type in, thank you for your business. Please call 800-458-7369 if you have any questions. And now you can see we can attach a copy of the invoice. We can attach a copy of the service report that we got signed by the customer. And then we had a sketch with a air leak and an original photo. We're going to go ahead and click email. So work order 23348 is now closed. So let's go ahead and take a look at that invoice that was emailed to the customer. We can see that invoice 46647 from Bangor Computer Systems was sent and received. And attached to the email, we can see that we have a photo. Along with that, we have a copy of the service report that was reviewed and signed by the, uh, the customer. Here's a copy of the sketch that was provided to the customer. And then last, here's a copy of the invoice that was sent to the customer.
So right out of Sage Service Operations, you can complete the work order process, invoice your customer directly via email.